Hey, this is Mike with the Quality Sportsman here with a quick review. And today we're checking out the Axel X-Core Ear Pro. Their marketing was pretty awesome and they got me. I couldn't resist any longer and had to check them out. Let's see how I liked them. All right, so the first thing I normally like about products is easy setup. Uh, these, I've used plenty of Bluetooth earbuds before. Uh, these weren't really any different. Um, I did have to read the directions, which was unfortunate, but that's just because I wanted to make sure before I pulled the trigger and potentially damaged my hearing that I had any, uh, you know, hearing sound compression mode um, uh, enabled. So that's one of the first things I like about these is you just turn them on, put them in, and you're rocking and rolling. Uh, you don't need to do anything specific to turn on their hearing protection qualities. Uh, the next thing I like about them is they're pretty easy Bluetooth setup. If you've done it before on, uh, you know, I'm using an iPhone. I connected them to my iPhone. I was listening to music at the range while I was banging steel. So uh, that's pretty awesome. Uh, the first thing I didn't like about them was the sound quality is nowhere near uh, as good as, you know, um, e even I think I'm running like a basic AirPods, um, not even the AirPod Pros. Um, so the sound quality wasn't nearly as good. It sounds a little more tinny, kind of like a cheaper pair of, um, uh, of uh, in-ear headphones would sound, something kind of like, uh, not, not as bad, but more towards like the airline free headphones that they give you. Um, so I was a little disappointed at that. You know, I wish the audio quality was a little bit better. That said, after I was running them for a while, um, you know, I kind of got used to it and didn't really feel like it was too terrible. Um, so I did a couple of things uh, to, to test these out. I shot at the range yesterday. Um, I didn't shoot my suppressor. I put the muzzle brake on. I was doing some load development on my 6.5 Grendel and uh, some running some quick positional drills. Um, you know, shoot, shooting with the muzzle brake um, in, in kind of a, a covered area, I, I guess uh, at, at the range, that's about as loud as it's going to get for me. Um, I'm doing a lot of outdoor shooting. I don't really like indoor ranges. Um, it was probably at the max end of where I felt comfortable and thought maybe it's not damaging my hearing. Um, again, shooting with the brakes, so a lot of that's going out to the side or coming back at you. Um, I didn't feel like it was damaging my hearing, but um, it, it certainly wasn't um, suppressing the noise as much as a good quality earmuffs or something like that would do. So um, that's the next thing I noticed and thought could have been a little bit better. Um, I am not a big fan personally of in-ear headphones, especially the ones that have some foam or rubber, um, you know, insert that, uh, that create a seal in your ear canal. Um, so I kind of going into it, expected that this might not work for me, but I wanted to give it a shot. I have some upcoming, uh, you know, DMR and sniper matches where there's a lot of physical challenges involved. Uh, and I wanted to see if I could run these. Um, you know, potentially listen to music and still hear the ROs while they're giving their instructions. Um, so I, I gave it a shot and, you know, finding the right earpiece size is critical. They do provide a few different options, rubber and foam. And it lists that the foam is actually the only one that's uh, hearing safe for noise reduction with gunshots, uh, which is good to know. And I'm glad I read the directions. Uh, this morning I did a three mile treadmill run. Uh, I wore them the whole time. Um, they stayed in. I had to push them in about twice over the course of, you know, 30 minutes or whatever that was. Um, and that was once I started getting really sweaty. So I really wanted to see how they would do if I was, you know, doing something uh, physically difficult if they would stay in. And and I thought they stayed in pretty well. Uh, again, and it's critical that I uh, that you if you do get these that you find the right ear insert so. so overall i thought this was a pretty good product the quality you know the build quality seems nice it feels really sturdy um, i didn't have any battery life issues i've used these twice probably three or four hours total and i haven't had to recharge i believe the case itself uh, is recharging so when you pop them back in here they recharge uh, runs off a of USB-C, if you can see that, uh, which is nice. Overall, I, I think this product is kind of okay, decent, um, pretty good. I guess that's where I would put it, you know, maybe a six or a seven out of 10 on the spectrum. Um, I didn't hate it. There were a few drawbacks. Uh, again, uh, I, I wish it had a little bit more sound protection. If there were multiple people shooting around me with, with muzzle brakes on, I would definitely switch to something that I, I was certain was protecting my hearing. So that's the first thing. Uh, second, the sound quality, uh, 
could have been a little better. I, I would not see these as like a high quality Bluetooth headphone experience. Um, definitely if I don't need the hearing protection, I'm gonna default to my uh, AirPods or something else. Uh, third, the price. Um, to me, that was the biggest downside. Overall, I, I did like these things, but when considering that their list price is $299, um, you know, if you go to the Axel website, uh, that's struck through and they're on sale for 229. I don't know if that's a recent deal uh, or if that's just part of their marketing. Um, you know, they don't offer any military LEO discounts on this one. They do have a wired, like in the ear, behind the neck wired model that has a discount for military and LEO through GovX. So make sure you check that out. Um, I might check those out as well. But you know, going back to the price on these, um, the X cores. Um, 229, that, that seemed a little steep to me um, for what I'm getting. Um, again, not the best, uh, not the best noise reduction at the range and not the best sound quality. Um, but I, I, I'm not sure I could recommend it at 229 price point. I think it needs to be a little cheaper. Uh, we may be fighting science here. Like th this is a pretty innovative tech to be able to play music, Bluetooth, have a phone call and uh, you know, in a wireless earbud and have the sound coming through. Um, but, but again, I, I think they're still a little bit too expensive for, uh, the experience that you're going to have while you're shooting, uh, with these and listening to music and things like that. So overall, I'm kind of iffy. If, if price isn't a huge deal for you, um, you'll probably be happy with these. Uh, if you're going to have to save up and, and get these, um, you might be a little disappointed at 229. So, uh, keep an eye out for any deals. Um, I've, I've been thinking about it all day and, uh, you know, I probably would have been happy closer to like 150 or, or low 100s. Um, not sure if they're going to have any deals out there uh, that get it that low, but, um, you know, it's always worth looking. So um, good luck. If you do get these, let me know how you like them. Uh, let me know if there's something else out there that I'm missing that provides a uh, similar, if not better, uh, in-ear wireless, uh, you know, sound, sound suppression uh, technology. I'd be interested in trying them out and doing a review. Uh, until then, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. Bye.